Last time, nephew Nick make ramen. No step correct, just his prof 230. This time, he making egg fried rice. The perfect fried rice. Can something like that even exist? Perfect fried rice by this guy? Uncle Roger can't tell who more white and straight. This guy or his teeth? Hi, yeah, uh, Uncle Roger living at Nephew Nigel's new place. This shithole. Nephew Nigel, why you move here? Are you sure this place finished building already? Because Uncle Roger feeling like I living in construction site, hi. Uh, I just moved in, Uncle. I'll, I'll put some shelves up, I'll paint the walls. And you're living here rent free, so stop complaining. The perfect fried rice. I think I know the one and only man that has the power and the knowledge to be able to judge. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Uncle Roger. Hi, yeah, nephew Nick. Why you look so sunburned today? Did you go on holiday or something? SPF, as important as MSG. Not long ago, I made an amazing ramen. And according to Uncle Roger, I hit about four out of the five steps properly, only missing the aroma oil. But aside from potentially missing one of those steps, Uncle Roger had a few other reservations about the video. He said that I should not be spanking anything, no food, no nothing, in videos down the road. Don't spank your dinner. Get room and spank your girlfriend. I mean, you can spank me. Because of the video, of course. No. What, what, what? You can spank me. Because of the video, of course. No. What kind of weird relationship he has with his Weejo guy? Nephew Nick, don't spank your Weejo guy. Your girlfriend gonna get jealous. Hiya. But I've taken it up a notch. Uncle Roger, I have your very own orange shirt. And I'm gonna make Manny put it on. Put it on, Manny. After what? I saw- You spank him and you make him dress up for you? Who you think you are? Hugh Hefner. Is Manny or Playboy Barney? Hiya. And before I made this recipe, I thought it would be a good idea to reach out and ask Uncle Roger to give nephew Nick a bit of advice. Egg fried rice, so simple. It's three ingredients. Egg, Ugh. fry, and rice. Ugh. 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 Nephew Nick, keep your tongue in mouth. Nobody want to see your tongue. Don't look at me like that. So gross, hi. You're not on Love Island. Stop doing this tongue shit. If niece and nephew go to bar and someone look at you like this, don't accept drink from them. Last time nephew Nick has baby face, this video he got roofy face. What happened? Nick, what happened? Nick looking at me like he looking at piece of me and you know what he do to them. Uncle Roger, I know we can handle that. In fact, we can do you one better. Now, I think we are ready to begin our process. He keep talking with Before his hand again. Grab my groceries, toss a quick like on the video. I promise it's the only thing I will ever Hit like on my video also. Hit like. Groceries. I am heading right now to an Asian grocery store. I'm truly going above and beyond for this video. I mean, we are not going to hold back one. Put your hand on steering. Hi, yeah, driving so dangerous. You're gonna crash your car. The only thing worse than drunk driving is nobody driving. Uncle Roger, I'm gonna make you a happy, happy man today. Auntie Helen said that before too. Hi, ya dirty shit again. MSG, you know we. For you, MSG, good, good. And this. Oh, what is that? He's so young. But he already got the dad dancing move. When they say white people can't dance, this is what they mean. The walk so big. I know, right? The walk is bigger than me. Fried and something. Fried rice. Fried rice. Okay. <laughs> you want some? No. I'm back from the grocery store, but like I said, one more thing. It is imperative that you order takeout such that you can end up with takeout rice. Because leftover rice is king. Leftover rice, correct? But make your own rice. Don't just get from takeout. Hiya. Making fried rice with freshly cooked rice, you might be a serial killer. So last night, I did exactly that. Okay, so it's the evening now. I'm in my car. This angle right too now, close. Nephew Nick, we this. don't need to see your paw. But in addition to having great food, they have something else that always makes me happy. And it may not make much sense, but something in particular that they do makes me feel like they really know what they're doing with their food. And here it is. If you can't tell, I get this place partly because of the bag. I got plenty of rice. This is gonna be good. Bag quite cute. Here it is. I couldn't possibly have eaten all that rice, but... Wait, are you really using rice from the Chinese takeout? Master Chef Final can't afford rice cooker. So sad. 
Now we get to make fried rice with leftover rice, the way that it should be. Right here are all of our ingredients. First, of course, we have our leftover rice, then we have some Good. green onions, some Good. garlic, chili, a little bit of pork fat. So you can use pork fat, nice. For this. You can even use butter if you want. No, then don't use butter. Eggs, some soy sauce. Egg, good soy sauce, good white pepper, nice. Waiting, let's get started. Nice chopping. Wasting egg, hiya, nephew Nick. I know you think showing slow motion of egg is cool, but no need to do that. We all know what egg look like. So we prepped all our ingredients. It's time to get cooking. Don't yes. do that. That walk, not gong. I understand that this right here might be the biggest wok you've ever seen, and I could make a lot of fried rice with it. But I find that it's much more fun to have a big wok shaped like this to be able to toss it while you're cooking. But hold on, I told you there would be a twist. I'm Persian, and one of twist. my favorite things to make from Persian cuisine is called tariq, which is a crispy rice. Interesting. Fried rice, I like to make some crispy bits throughout. I'm gonna start crispy with crispy rice. In Interesting pan. texture nice for egg fried rice. Nice even coat of our rice. And now we're back to the wok. Fuyo, nice fire. Wait, what? Put Uncle Roger in what? Nephew Nick, you're welcome to toss Uncle Roger anytime. Sorry, children. Also, also, Uncle Roger surprise, why the fire alarm not going off? To start, we'll go heat on and an entire bag of Wait, MSG. This is a whole really bag? Way to just pack your fried rice no, with flavor. No, just kidding. Start, we're gonna see oh. her entire Ooh. walk with some pork fat. Don't OD on MSG. We really just wanna move this around and let it coat the entire walk. What we're doing right now is called seasoning our pan. And Good. it's super important, especially if you're using a pan made out of a material like this. Next, I'm gonna go into a bowl with three but after you season, you need to throw up old oil and use new cold oil. Hopefully you do that. Egg yolks and two additional eggs. Those of you watching better master the one-handed egg crack. Now we'll whisk these Very impressive. Sticks, making sure that they're nice and fully combined. The additional egg yolks will provide- Chopstick to stir egg. Not bad. But also more fat. And who doesn't love fat? I'm also going to season as I go, hitting it with just a little bit of white pepper. Nice. Then into our wok we go. Just watch as that beautiful egg puffs up. My goal now is gonna be to keep it nice and fluffy while also breaking it Texture up. Texture looks good, nice and fluffy, correct? Now that the egg is all set, I'm gonna go in with some chili or pepper, whatever you have, and then a nice bit of my minced garlic. Now we'll mix it mm. around and let it get nice and aromatic. I choose to put the garlic and chili in after the egg so that it doesn't burn immediately. Uncle Roger usually put garlic as first thing because garlic take a while to become fragrant. I choose to put the garlic and chili in after the egg so that it doesn't burn immediately. I think it only gonna burn because nephew Nick forgot to change to cold oil. Hi, yeah. At this point, it's time to add in our beautiful mm. leftover fluffy white rice. Rice look good. Like Go thank the Chinese takeout for me, but at least he not using packet rice. So still better than Jamie Oliver. By the way, niece and nephew, did you know Jamie Oliver used to have restaurant it called 15 because that how many people like his food. Now we finally reached the point for our MSG and we're gonna be generous with it. Let's nice, really combine nice. All the rice and then it's time for a little bit of soy sauce. A nice soy sauce, soy sauce you should pour on side. Let it sizzle on the side of the wok then slowly roll down to the rice. But it okay, this fire rice still look good. You got the sauce and it's spicy. A little bit of soy sauce, a nice handful of green onion because I love green onion, and a pinch of white pepper to season it all up. And right here is where you can normally finish up that fried rice. Fuyo, look at that tossing. And look at that muscle. Look at that muscle here. Nephew Nick, I thought you have girlfriend, but this arm muscle look like arm of single man. Since Auntie Helen left Uncle Roger, forearm muscle also get so strong, but only this one hand. And just like that, our fried rice is perfect, but not without just mm. a bit of tadi, aka crispy rice. Crispy so rice go in. Pick up this this interesting. Uncle Roger it's never see this before. Crisp on the bottom. Listen. I'm gonna add this into our fried rice, essentially just gently folding it in to leave some of those big crispy parts intact. But but your crispy rice. No seasoning, no flavor. So you will mix it with the seasoned fried rice. So with every bite, half the bite have flavor, half the bite no flavor. That's gonna be a bit weird. You eat the fried rice, then it's 50-50. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it feels like you have COVID. Can't taste shit. Once I loosely break that up and put in our crispy rice, my fried rice is ready to serve. Also, don't freak out. This is not non-stick pan. You can use metal utensil on it. 
And if you've got those crazy skills, you can flick it right back up onto the spoon. Fui yo! Oh, wow, right nice it's skill. Good rice. And quite honestly, I'm not even gonna try to make it pretty. I'm just gonna pile it on the way that it's meant to be served. And Correct. No need pity. Just taste good is enough. Just a few more green onions for that color. And in my humble opinion, this right here is the perfect fried rice. Uncle Roger, today I hope nephew Nick has made you very proud. I'm sorry you can't be here to taste it, but here we go. That is really, really good. Uncle Roger gonna deliver my verdict in the style of nephew Nick. Nephew Nick, Uncle Roger, so proud of you. You make fried rice, it looks so good. But I cannot give you the uncle title because you didn't make the rice yourself. Hiya. I love that we have a lucky cat there. <laughs> I couldn't find a way to display it. So I just, you know, put some boxes together as a shelf. Uncle Roger want to show my hand away wing cat, but I don't have any shelf behind me. So I use box as shelf. So smart. What kind of weird relationship he has with his feet? What kind of weird relationship he has with his feet? With, with his... <laughs> Nephew Nigel filming all my wee jokes. He never offered to let me spank him before. Last time Nick have baby face, this wee joke he have roofy face. What happened? <laughs> Sorry Nick. By the way, did you know Jamie Oliver used to have restaurant? His restaurant name called 15 because that's how many people like his food. Bow, 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 bow.